just thought I should go through with it. So you got married to a drunk you were scared of just because the registrar had a neck brace and a flat hairdo? Well, she'd come in specially. Oh, it's blooming music. Let's put yours on, eh? Oh, I can't play it on that. It only takes CDs. It's that brass band I really like. Oh, yeah, I know them. I drink me one of them. I'll get you a CD of it. Will you? Might get it in your brand tub tomorrow. Excuse me, is anybody clearing the tables? Because I don't think there is anybody clearing the tables. <laughs> I'll uh, do it in a minute, OK? Anything else you haven't told me? No. You know everything else. Nearly 42, no children, love brass bands, hate celery, <laughs> brought up in a children's home, always wanted an etch sketch never had one. That's it. <laughs> Take over for me, Dolly. My flaming crotch has popped again. <laughs> Never mind Preston. She could do with a few rivets. <laughs> hey, Bren, are you and Tony going to Scotland tomorrow? Shh, we're supposed to be. Why? So you'll be at home packing tonight, separately. You'll be too busy for Anky Panky. Why? Well, you know we've got this bet on. If you could control yourselves till Christmas morning, I'd be 50 quid up. One bonk to you. Ten bottles of wine to me. <laughs> God, what is that music? Look, I don't think anything's going to come of it. I've not exactly had much luck with men. Like me and my tropical fish. At least with men, you don't come downstairs in the morning to find eight of them floating face down in the water. <laughs> anyway, give over, nothing will come of it. Tony's dead keen, you know. What on? On you, you popsy lame brain. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. <laughs> What do you reckon to this music, then? Bloody awful. I'll bring you some proper music in tomorrow. Here, your husband turned up last night while he was snogging Tony. <laughs> who else knows? Anybody who are waiting for bacon. <laughs> Anita, you know this surprise for Brent? I'm going out to meet the bloke now, so don't tell Bren where I've gone and don't let her get the phone. You know what this is like? What? A little princess. When she's in the attic and the monkey comes. <laughs> Not long till Christmas, Tony. Just hang on. Are you going out? Yeah. Cos, listen, about us going to Scotland, how long is it going to take to get there? In my car, anything up to three weeks. <laughs> Look, I'm just going to shoot off home and get my head down. One night with you and one night with your husband, I'm flagging. I don't know how bisexuals manage. <laughs> so, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. See ya. Bren, do you think you'll get as far as having babies? Eh? Hey? <laughs> you and Tony? I think we'll be lucky if we get as far as Carlisle. <laughs> no, I mean it, though. I don't know if he can, all that chemotherapy and stuff. Anyway, it's a bit early for all that, isn't it? Not to mention a bit late for me. Speaking of which, have you checked the dates on those yoghurts? You're only 41. Look at Ursula Andress. Look at your mother. Mm. Can I get as far as Ursula Andress and then stop looking? <laughs> Did you want babies before, though, Bren? Do you wish you'd had them? Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. Go and check those yogurts, eh? All these so-called database details the other day. I know, and I put them into the computer. Who's on Sprouts, Jean? Who will be the next James Bond, Sooty? <laughs> <laughs> You're reading across two columns again. <laughs> put your specs on. I didn't think Sooty was a very good choice. I'm not mad about Pierce Brosnan, but at least he's not running around with Matthew Corbett's hands stuck up his... Thank you. <laughs> Then I wanted to save the document. Listen, turkey dinner. It's not ideal for James Bond, Sutty. He'd never be able to handle the gadgets. <laughs> but he could surprise the villains, because they wouldn't be looking down that far. Yeah, Anita. <laughs> and when he's face to face with Mr Big in his nuclear bunker at the end of the film, and Mr Big says, So, we have been expecting you, Mr Sutty. <laughs> <laughs> He'll smash an egg over his head and squeeze toothpaste in his eye and that'll be the end of the film. Have you finished? And then over the credits you'll see him in bed with Sue. <laughs> <laughs> Sipping a cocktail. Bye-bye, everybody. <laughs> Look, don't you start. 
So I put all your details into the computer. Tom's teaching me how to do that. I'm dead keen, actually. The minute he gets home, I'm fiddling with his laptop. <laughs> Lucky old Tom. <laughs> Sorry, was that a... No. Anyway, so I put a border of little cups of tea round it for the canteen. Or well, there might be cups of coffee, I don't know. And it said, do you want to save changes? You can see why Gone with the Wind had an interval. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. Are you sure? Well, no, I'm not sure. Philippa. I mean, we were sure about Rock Hudson once, weren't we? Oh, <laughs> oh that was well known in our house. Thank God for cigarettes. So, um, <laughs> Anita's date of birth? September 15th, 1975. Oh, shut the door! door! What about Rock Hudson? Are you totally out of touch with gay gossip? No, I know about Ben Elton. Ben Elton? I don't mean Ben Elton, I mean John Elton. <laughs> Elton John? Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's just that they write it the other way around at HMV. <laughs> And now yours, Dolly, just says 8th of April. 8th of April, 19... 19 what? <laughs> Aya! We're doing requests! Oh, what a brilliant idea! <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, we're saving up to send a poor little lad to Disneyland. Oh, is he poorly? No, he just wants to go. <laughs> oh, it's for Mr Michael. We're having a whip round. Any requests? Do you know, you'll never something, something with an Eskimo? Al McCorgan. Do you know it? No. <laughs> What's that thing Ross Conway used to play? The piano. <laughs> no, it, it was a tune. Oh, no, it's gone. We're doing songs, Stan. Got any requests? You know Mr Wolves and Air Aid Warden now be George Formby? No. Didn't think you would. <laughs> Turned out nice again. <laughs> Bloody hell, you try and bring a bit of entertainment to folk and all you get is hard faces and Alma Pig in Corgan. <laughs> We've only come here to do your flipping favour. Well, we only know one bloody tune anyway, so you can have that and flipping lump it. Jingle bells from the middle after four. Four. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh, are the fields we go, laughing all the way. Ha ha, the bells on box will ring, making spirits cry. Oh, what fun it is to sing a sleighing song tonight. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Christmas dinner this afternoon and swapping presents. Yep. Is it just for cantini people? Yep. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Get a stupid hat off her, Bren, otherwise we'll have another 20 minute palaver when she brings it back. <laughs> Philippa, hat. Oh, sorry. Yours fell off the flipping database as well. Just says Ember, 1957. December. The 24th. That's today. No one knows. I don't do birthdays. Don't tell anybody. Oh, oh crikey. It's Mikey. <laughs> Tony? Did you know about Bren's birthday? Eh? All right, Mr Michael. You know I'm retiring. Yeah, what are you going to do? I'm going to dress up as Father Christmas. Oh, will that not get a bit annoying by about March? <laughs> <laughs> Just today. Oh. Well, shall I nip out now and get her a birthday card? We want to get her a proper present. Jane, can you do me a favour? Can you do me one? Not have sex with Bren till tomorrow morning? <laughs> oh, honestly, who has sex on Christmas morning? The Dalai Lama. <laughs> well, he must peel his sprouts the night before. How much bigger is Bren than you, Jane? So, I'll be on the fire escape at 3.15. Now, ah, well, you won't get the door open from the outside. Well, I'll jingle my bells then and you let me in. Side saddle. <laughs> what? Russ Conway, that tune. Oh. Now do you see the point of HRT? <laughs> On the count of three, Dolly. One, two, three. Hey! 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 Is the bus reversing? <laughs> Ladies lifting furniture with the next territorial in the vicinity, I think not. The deceptive these tables. 
ladies could dislodge an organ. <laughs> we were rushing with dinner because of the view now.